We're reviewing our Beers Brewed in 2020 Pine Rum. This offering was inspired by Zach. He wanted to do something similar but different from our stout, so we decided to do a porter. He thought it would be a good idea to introduce vanilla bean into it as well. So we're curious at what the result is and how this will rank. So this is our Pine Rum uh, Vanilla Porter. Yes, we got four different offerings. We have a porter control, which was just our porter recipe. And then we have different variations of the vanilla bean. We have uh, either it's two vanilla, vanilla beans or four vanilla beans, and then different amount of times. For the two vanilla beans, we have two and three weeks. For the four, we have two weeks. Bless you. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we'll try the porter control first, and we'll work our way over by age and maturity of the bean in okay. the actual keg. Beautiful. So we'll do uh, port control. Sounds good. We'll get it cracking. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey. We're all... Darth Vader over here, guys. I'm all... Just a little bit for me. can barely breathe over here. Good, good. It'll help. There you go. King Zebra strikes out. Medicine. <laughs> tastes are uh, derived from that, I believe. So I'm getting a little bit drier on the after with with a butt with a, mm -hmm. the actual carbonation. Yeah. The yes, and, and we, we changed the temperature range from the stout because I believe we wanted it a little bit drier. So we changed the um, the malt, uh, I'm sorry, the, um, the, uh, the temperature. Fermentation that, temperature. You, no, not the fermentation. Yeah, we changed the fermentation temperature and then we also changed the uh, um, the temperature that we mashed in. Okay. The gotcha. mash temperature. So we changed the mash temperature and to your point, fermentation temperature as well. Okay. I like that a lot. I like that it's kind of a little bit dry at, at the end. Mm -hmm. I like the, the, the difference between the stout and the porter too. Yeah, like this isn't as dark. The color is close, but yeah, if you look in the color, it's yeah. more if you look in the light, it's more brown, slightly. Yeah. The other one's like more pitch black. Yeah, exactly. This is like I mean and, black, yeah. and, and we could go even a little bit lighter on this. You know, yeah. to, to make it more of a distinguishable difference. What I think the uh, changes we made both to the fermentation temperature as well as the mash ended in a little bit drier, which I kind of like. I do too. For the porter, I do like a little I like, bit drier. Yeah, it's not porter, sweet. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's right. nice and dry. Yeah. Distinctive chocolate flavor right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You got the bubbles of the fermentate, uh, the actual carbonation. Yep. And then it ends slightly dry, but not too dry. Right. Right. Not a bad control. So, uh, color, do you think a little bit less dark? I think so. Because it's very dark amber. Very dark. If you take a look, you can see the red hues when, when the light You have it. to head it up to light, though, yes. to your point. Yes. The and that's what makes it slightly darker than the stout. Yeah. Slightly lighter than the stout. The stout is the jet stout, black. Jet black, you hold jet it up, black. it's jet black. Yeah, you can tell too with the head too that the darkness of the head in the first one compared to this one too, yes. it's a little bit lighter. This is a creamier, but the other one's creamier, right? I would say keep it as as is. I don't know. We could try to lighten lighten the beer towards the, the actual style. But right. it still fits in the style range, right? But Correct. I I agree. I think it should be a little bit lighter. Slightly lighter. lighter. Okay. A bit. Let's go a little I lighter. I agree. Let's it's do slightly it. lighter. Yeah. You good? I 
no CPR. He's, he's sl slow down. Oh, yeah. Slightly okay. out. Okay. Um, how about the the taste of it? The uh, the bitterness, the the complexity, the nuttiness, the the uh, chocolateiness. I'm not getting much bitter. Okay. I get a little bit of nut, small. Small, yeah, which which you'd expect, just a small amount, just not tiny. too much, not like a brown. But I like the the cop, uh, not the coffee, the chocolate rather. Yep. Yeah. You taste a little bit of that, which is nice. I think it's it's pretty it's pretty compliment. balanced. It's a great entry level porter for people that you know are not familiar with porter styles, right? Because it's not too overwhelming to your palate. It's yeah. very drinkable for a porter. To, yes, to that I point. completely agree. You know, very I could have a couple of these, and I would feel and like the full stomach feel. Long. Right. Because sometimes the darker beers are too heavy. Yeah, too heavy. Yeah. Where I can't can't have multiple of them. Right. Okay. This one I could. Okay. You want to pop that that shorty? So next we're gonna roll to. So that was our control. So that was just our porter. Next one, uh, the next three beers that we're gonna try. Uh, the same base recipe, we're just kind of introducing a vanilla bean. This one was two vanilla beans per five gallon keg for two weeks. Uh, the, the next one's going to be uh, two vanilla beans for three weeks and then four vanilla beans for two weeks. Nice. So we kind of um, both mixed up how much vanilla bean we're adding as well as the uh, exposure time to the beer. Just to kind of see what results were yielded. So the, these vanilla beans that we use in this is a little bit different too. They're Madagascar vanilla beans stored in a bourbon barrel. So they got a little bit of a bourbon kick to them. Mm -hmm. A little yep. bit of flair, a little bit of something different. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And then that's what, through our research, we determined too that that would be the best application of uh, kind of introducing that vanilla taste to it. It seemed like that has been the, uh, the best method. And uh, so we'll give it a try. Cheers. Throw it. Wow. Right off the bat. Yeah. There's that vanilla yeah. taste that just yeah. hits you, yeah? It does. And a lingering taste, which is really nice. It stays on for a while. Yeah, which is really nice. Yeah. And I think that really adds to the complexity of it. It kind of adds it to does. the flavor profile it overall does. as well. Yeah. It like smoothens it out. It takes you on a like, long ride. Yeah. And, like. and, and yeah, I agree. It smooths out, especially on the uh, the end of the taste as well. Mm -hmm. It really kind of displays really nicely. I'm shocked. I'm just having uh, the actual two vanilla beans in for two weeks. How much is a it? dramatic difference it provides in the beer? Because right off the bat, right when I taste it, you get that 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 warm, subtle vanilla bean flavor, mm -hmm. and it sticks on your palate and it hangs it on. Lingers. It's yeah. nice though. It's yeah. very uh, oh. complimentary to the, to the yeah, style the flavor, profile. everything. Yeah. Yeah, I ab absolutely love the idea that Zach came up with having yeah. that vanilla bean in there. It just is like yeah. it, ma it makes the beer in my my mind. You it know what? Makes this, Especially this after so trying much this one, I agree. It, it totally complements it. It really adds to it. This this is my favorite. This this iteration of the whole uh -huh. the whole it's style whole, yeah. is my favorite that we've done the whole year. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's just it shows different examples of of a yeah. great style that you know mm -hmm. that it's we really haven't tried. Yeah, that Jay had too to do. You know, the two at two weeks, four at two weeks. Yeah. And the, there's time, there's contact yeah. time as well as the amount. Right. Especially after overtime and even bottling. Because like when we bottled and then compared to like letting it set for, food for a few days and then trying it, it was completely different. But it was interesting to see what it did Yeah. from, you know, straight out of the keg yep. to the bottle. And I think the vanilla bean itself, since it had bourbon in it, yeah, I think it had an alcoholic taste a little mm -hmm. bit to it, so I yes. think it lends itself to this to, to yeah. being in a beer. Right. Yeah. You know, I think having an actual vanilla bean with bourbon is going to be better than just straight vanilla bean. Mm -hmm. We could be wrong. We could try it out in that way. Sure. 
but I, I think the, results, the full, the full yeah, bead, we just like right? we did the Madagascar full bead, we de-bean de it, you yep. know, get all the stuff out of it. Out, you know, yep. Love it. Yeah. Better than the extract, better than going down any other avenue. Right. I think whole bean is the way to go. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to rate it from here or you want to roll through the rest? I want to roll through the rest. I already know what I'm going to rate this thing. I do too. I already feel it. It's like, I already know what my, my number is. It's such a good beer. And what's what's nice about this one too is because last year we had two beers that we finalized that were lighter beers. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to be able to add a few that are darker beers. Yeah. You know, because we had the uh, the Wick and the Dunkel that we decided that we were finalized on. Yeah. Now we got to go more towards. Oh, no, the Wick and the uh, Porter. Porter. Oh, Pilsner. 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 Pilsner, Pilsner. Yeah. So those are two Pilsner. lighter beers. And now we got to go ahead and add sure. one or two to the, you know, right. to our finalized that are darker beers. Yeah, and, and this that's is the right thing there. too. We're, we're having that conversation about where do we go from here? Do we want to focus on uh, darker beers to, mm -hmm. to finalize next? Because we got two light beers right that's, on the light end yeah, of the spectrum. Do we want to, because this was a year for exploration, I suppose. Do we want to nail down some of the other things as well? I don't know. We'll do yes. The originals or, or whatever. Or anything. Just anything darker. Okay. Yep. Our best dark recipe, I suppose. Yep. I think it's a good idea. Because I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. I think that we have to go ahead. This year was a year for exploration. We try new stuff. Yeah. Let's double back. Let's finish up those two recipes or the few recipes that we think were right there at the edge. Right. Let's get those done. Let's have you put the label to mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And then we'll have five beers, five or right. six beers that are completely year, done right. with labels that we're 100% happy with. Right. And then next year, maybe we can do an exploration year and do every other year exploration yeah, year. Yeah, which is really so, interesting. Uh, yeah, idea. Yeah. Really you interesting know. idea. Exploration, perfection. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then fine like tuning it, yeah. yeah. Exploration year, we can each pick a recipe that we want to go ahead and explore, and then we can go ahead and finalize it the next Not year. Sure. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. But I think we. And I think back to back, too, kind of like we're talking about with the stout. If we do one, then we do one with hops, and we go back to back. We can try them in the relatively same timelines. We can nail it down. We can tell which between the two right away which one we like. We know we're done for our final review. Which one you know we can nail down. Well, to that, Jay, if we pick three beers, we do it two times a year, and then go ahead and end up with six beers. We, we in that we do four beer styles per beer. Mm -hmm. We do every other. Right. So it'd be with like different, right with different beer Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly yeah. like so this. So then you could try yeah. it. And do it side by side and then make your iterations from there. Right. So it flushes out. We could do, you know, eight quickly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And be done with it. Yeah. Yep. This All is right, something man. What, what is this that we've got next here, Jay? Two, three. Two, three. So two beans for three weeks. Two beans, three weeks, correct. Same smelling it off the yeah. bat. Not a big difference in taste. Not much. Not as much as I would For a week. Think. I think at a certain point it reaches its maturity, I would guess. As much as it's okay, it's okay, yeah. I mean, maybe, actually maybe it's a little more on the back end. I would, I was thinking it lingers around. A little bit more. It lingers around a little bit more. And I almost prefer and it's a almost two, a little bit more bitter. Yes. At the end, I think. Yeah. I, I never realized, more. I think it lingers more. It lingers the more, The taste, yeah. the smell rather is about the same, but I feel like it's a little strong on the back end. Maybe I prefer two, two out of the two we tried. But I like the first one. Is that the two? -two? I agree. So that's the two-two. I like that I one. I agree first. so far. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because that one that one's a solid offering. So two makes two weeks may be the uh, the key there. Mm -hmm. But because I was looking, uh, they said between two and three weeks on average, people were saying that uh, for the best results. Yeah. Of contact time. So how many beans were they putting in? What are they two, doing? Two to three. Two to three per five. Correct. Okay. Two to three per five. So we went egg. low end and then extreme high end. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we went low and high. So I did, I did I, two, is, two is about average. Two is average. Two is average. Were they using vanilla beans or vanilla extract? Vanilla beans. Okay, that's the way to go. I yeah. The they extract. said, uh, to your point, they said vanilla extract was very, it's a very shallow taste. It's not as full bodied and has a, uh, a depth. Yeah. Like the vanilla bean had. So I, I, based on that, I figured we should. And, and there's different ways, like you said, to the, the, the um, heavy and bourbon. There's a few different ways yeah. that they uh, prepare them for long term yeah. storage like that. And I, I thought that would be lend itself uh, best to the porter application. 
it's creamy too, which I like about it. Mm -hmm. So now that we've tried all of them, gentlemen, what do we think is our best iteration of this batch? You know, how would you rate it? I'll do Zach last because he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's the man with the plan. Joshua, what do you think? I absolutely love, 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 love this beer. So from the, the control to the 4-2, yes. I think it offers a great spectrum throughout. It's different, right? Different emphasis. It, different emphasis yeah. along the line, right? I think you could have somebody, you know, they could say that this is their favorite because they don't like as much chocolate. Right. And other people say, I like more vanilla. Right. So it's all more based on vanilla. palate. Right. But I love chocolate and I love coffee. Yeah. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do it a four or five. Oh, okay. Wow. This is my favorite, absolute favorite out of everything we brewed. Everything. Everything we brewed. I love to hear that. You know, I love that Zach's idea. Yes. Adding the actual vanilla bean I itself yeah. with the chocolate flavor. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. You can't get much better than that. Right. You can't. Right. Okay. Excellent. Four or five. Chris? That would be nice, quick, and short. I would say the 4-2 is my favorite. Okay. It has, uh, I didn't try it right here in front of you, but I've had... You've had all of them, yeah. Yeah, I've had all of them. I would say the 4-2 is, if you're going for a vanilla porter, that's what you think of. The control is excellent. The 2-2 two -two is somebody in the middle who yeah. you know, wouldn't necessarily want the overpowering taste of vanilla, which we all enjoy. Yep. So I'd say the 4-2 is what I would enjoy. Yep. And my score would be, in respect of the 4-2, 4.2. Okay. Excellent. Shout out to him. I'm going to say I like the 4-2 the best. Uh, to your point, the 2-2 two -two and the 4-2 were ones that really stuck out to me. I believe the 2-2 two -two had a, uh, a better balance between chocolate and vanilla. But in terms of vanilla porter, I think the 4-2. I like that vanilla because I like the smoothness at the end. I like the smell. I like the taste throughout. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm going to say it's a 4-3. Zach? Yeah, I'm going 4-2. Okay. It's just, it seems like out of everything we did here, it's the most balanced. It's a vanilla porter, yep. and vanilla really shines. Yep. Four two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go with Chris four two. Okay, four point three. So top beer of the year. Top beer of the year. No doubt about it. The last beer. I, I agree. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. It's a great solid. idea. It's super, super it's smooth, super drinkable. Yeah. I'd pull for this. If I had a big option in my fridge, this would be the first one that I pulled. Yeah, I agree. It's I love it. Especially in this, the colder times right now. Tremendous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cheers. Well, good job, gentlemen. Beer. This, is a, this is a good beer to end it on. The best beer of the year. Beer of the year. Cheers. Shout out to many Zach. things to come. Cheers. Thank you, Zach. You're the man. Nostrovia. Nostrovia. Cheers. All the boys. Cheers. Love you guys. Cheers.